Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is my last minute Black Friday Cyber Monday video. A lot of people have been commenting on my self tanner reviews asking which ones are my favorites so I decided to compile them into this video. We are starting off with Coco and Eve's Sunny Honey Bali Body Bundle in Ultra Dark. This self tanner I absolutely love. It has a slight golden undertone, but it has a really deep, rich brown color to it, so it's not too golden for those of us with yellow undertones. This self-tanner fades away beautifully. If you only leave it on for the express amount of time, two to four hours, it will naturally just fade away. If you leave it on for the eight hours, I'll say around day five, it'll start to get a little bit patchy. Overall, a beautiful self-tanner that will work for everyone. I give this self-tanner a 9.5 out of 10. Moving along, we have the Loving Tan Express Dark Self Tanner. Let me just tell you guys, this self tanner is beautiful. It is also insanely expensive, but the undertone I'm showing you guys right here, it has such a red undertone. It shows up on the mitt. The other side was a different self tanner. This color is beautiful. If you like a red self tanner, this one's for you. If you do not, then run really far away from this one because the red is very evident in this self tanner. This self tanner fades so well in this next clip that you're about to see was after like five days and truly it just wears away. I don't have anything bad to say about the self tanner. It is beautiful. I mean, just the price. The price is a little overpriced, but beautiful self tanner, 9.8 out of 10 just because of the price. Next up, we have the Ashley Graham St. Tropez collaboration. I love the pump on this self tanner. It makes everything just so seamless and less messy and it applies to your body so easily. The foam's great. Now I will say this is more of a medium self tanner, definitely not a dark self tanner. The last two that I was talking about, those can go really dark or stay light. This one probably only gets up to be a medium self tanner. However, it's so natural looking. Also, can we just ignore the contour on my nose? Like what was happening that day? Just overlook it. What I'm showing you here is that I rode with the self tanner on and it didn't budge. That's my favorite thing about St. Tropez self tanners. I've gone swimming in them and they just stay in place. Tanner never went patchy. It just faded away. It was so nice. And you guys, I give this one like a 9.5 because it's not as dark as I would like, but it's a beautiful color. Next up, we have a Dulce Glow. Now Dulce Glow is created by Kim Kardashian's spray tan artist. Well, one of her spray tan artists. This self tanner, as you can see here, I had a big mistake and all of a sudden, like I washed my hands and that huge mistake went away. Now this is a very golden self tanner. Beautiful, but golden, but not too golden that if you have a slight yellow undertone, it wouldn't be too overpowering because it does have that like dark brown color under it. However, if you have a super yellow undertone, like more than me, I do think this one would go a little too yellow for you. This is another self tanner that just faded away. My only con is that it's really not that dark. I would say this is like medium dark and I left this on for like 12 hours. So this is really as dark as it was going to get. Still beautiful. I give it a 9.7 out of 10. It is a professional solution and you guys know my feelings about that. So head on over there, you guys go pick it up. It's 40% off. Moving along to Kylie Jenner's favorite self tanner or at least the one she was endorsed by. This is the Saint Tropez dark self tanning foam. Y'all, this is a beautiful self tanner. It's actually a dark self tanner, unlike the one with Kim Kardashian that claimed to be dark. It wasn't that dark. This one's dark. And this one is a neutral undertone, so it works for absolutely everyone. It's reasonably priced. You guys can pick this up at Walgreens. I think they sell it at Ulta now or online on their shop. It fades away really well. However, it is a dark self tanner. So I'd say around day five, it starts to get patchy. This is definitely one of the most natural looking self tanners that I have personally ever used. I give this one a 9.9 out of 10. It's beautiful. I can't really say anything bad about it. Highly recommend you guys go pick this one up, especially if they are having a sale. Totally worth it. For those of you who love a very ultra dark self tan, this one is for you. This is the Bali Body Self Tanner. You guys, I have never tried a self tanner that's this dark. It does have a red undertone, not as red as Loving Tan. So if you have a red undertone, I think you can test this one out and you won't be like too overwhelmed by the color because it does have like a slight golden undertone to it as well. It is so pretty. I recently mixed this one with the Bondi Sands Ultra Dark and that color was phenomenal, but you guys, you want an ultra dark self tanner, you can get it in four hours. In this video, I only had the self tanner on for four hours. Now it is a dark self tanner, so it starts to break down around day five. 
However, I don't mind. It's a dark self tanner. I know that's going to happen. I would give this one a 9.9 .9 out of 10 stars. It's phenomenal. Go pick it up. Trust me, you won't be disappointed. Since this is a really quick run through, I want to show you photos of me with these self tanners on. Now, a lot of these photos are old. Take that into consideration since some of these self tanning reviews are old, but this is when I tested out the Coco and Eve self tanner. As you can see, it's that beautiful bronze color with the slight golden undertone. Love the self tanner. It just, it looks beautiful on everyone, I'm telling you. This is from when I tested out Loving Tan last year. These aren't the best photos, but they're the only photos that I have of me with the self tanner on. I don't know why I didn't take more. Like I said, it's such a beautiful self tanner and you can see it has that like slight red undertone, which personally I think makes them look more natural on me since I have a yellow undertone. This is the Ashley Graham collaboration with Saint Tropez. Once again, these photos are a bit older, but you can see that it is a light self tanner. It has a slight golden undertone. All Saint Tropez products tend to have a more golden undertone, but definitely works for people with a yellow undertone. So don't worry if you have an olive complexion, you can use the self tanner. Just keep in mind it is more of a medium self tanner and not a very dark self tanner. If you want to look like Kim K, then this is the Dulce Glow and this is the one that she uses and you guys can see this is a super natural looking self tanner. Like you would think that that's my actual tan color, but I can't tan at all naturally. Love the self tanner, fades away so well. Go pick it up. I think it's like 40% off right now. Highly recommend. Kylie Jenner was allegedly paid a million dollars to promote this self tanner and let me tell you, it is worth it. Such a beautiful color, looks so natural. They have a very neutral undertone which works for everyone, so go check this one out. Bali Body is my darkest self tanner and you guys can see in this photo, it looks so natural. You guys, if you are looking for a super dark, ultra natural looking self tanner, go try this one. The undertone is perfect. Like I said, very red undertone. So if you do not like red undertones, don't buy this one. But if you have an olive complexion, I promise you, you will love this self tanner.